Hi everybody, welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. So we're getting into the second week of the uh, NFL season and we have a full set of games on tap. But we're going to take a look at four of them. Uh, so let's get started with some of these games. So as we scroll down through. A lot of games here. We're going to take a look at four of them. And see the Jets in Cleveland. Tampa Bay and New Orleans. This is the first one we want to look at. Both teams come into play. Uh, come off of wins. Tampa Bay 19-3 over Dallas. And New Orleans 27-26 over Atlanta. And see Tampa Bay is ice cold up. New Orleans is burning hot. But even though that uh, Tampa Bay is on the road, they are... The favorites at 1.691 to 2.136 odds, and they are a favorite by two and a half points with an over/under of 44.5. Look at the score prediction there, thinking this is going to be a very tight contest, 24-23, with confidence in prediction of about 69%. If you take a look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here that uh, New Orleans is at plus 16, while Tampa Bay is at plus 11. If you look at the over-under, you can see last week Tampa Bay was under the line and New Orleans was involved in the game over the line. Let's take a look at the money line at the moment. So you can see it opened at 1.481. This is for Tampa Bay. You can see it changed a little bit, not much, slightly up and down. Now it is currently at 1.69. So, you, so we're looking here at a favorite for Tampa Bay, but a slight favorite. I like Tampa Bay to win this one on the road, but I would pass on the over-under. The second one we want to look at here, as you go down through the list, is Seattle and San Francisco. In this NL West battle, you can see that uh, Seattle is coming into play average. San Francisco is coming into play average down. Seattle is coming off of a 17-16 win against Denver. A tight contest there. Well, San Francisco lost a tight one as well, 19 to 10. Both teams were involved in games under the line. The score prediction has San Francisco by a 33 to 25 score with 58% level of confidence. And San Francisco is a huge favorite, 1.230 to 4.04, which translates into 8.5 points with an over-under of just 41.5. If you look at the power ranking indicator, you can see here that San Francisco is at plus uh, 21, and they start at plus 31. And you can see here that Seattle has dipped. Uh, they are now at plus five. Let's take a look at the line here. If there's been any movement in the line, and you can see that there has been. It started here at uh, what was the starting point here? Well, you can't tell exactly where it started here. It's, it's between 1.224 and 1. uh, 1.236, about halfway between. So it looks like it's about 1.23. And you can see the jump to 1.208. And that went to 1.26 and is currently at 1.23. In the end, I like 49ers to win this game in a game going over the line. Arizona and the Raiders. Next one we want to look at is Houston and Denver. So Houston is coming off of a tie game against the Colts 20-20, while Denver uh, lost 17 to 16 to Seattle. Houston comes in average stats with Denver ice cold down. You can see the huge favorite for Denver at 1.210, 4.260 translates into almost a 10 point favorite, 9.5 point favorite with an over under 45.5. This core predictor has Houston though uh, as a 25 to 20, oh, excuse me, I read that incorrectly. It's Denver as a 30 to 25 home. Uh, win with about 51% level of confidence. On the power ranking indicator, you can see here that Houston has jumped from plus one back on August 13th, and they are up to plus 29. Well, you can see there's also been a rise for Denver from plus two up to plus 16. Let's take a look at uh, the over-under right here. You can see under the line for Houston in their first game, under the line for Denver in their first game. See if there's been any kind of movement in the line since it opened. Uh, the money line opened at 1.18. For Denver, you can see it dipped as now at 1.21.
but you, they're still a very heavy favorite at nine and a half points. I really don't see any contest in this one. I think Houston would probably cover the spread, but Denver will win rather easily, and I will pass on the over-under. Okay, the last game we want to look at is Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers. The Packers are coming off of a loss by 23-7 to score. They were never in the game. They just looked at lost in all phases, particularly on offense, while Chicago was a winner of 19-10 to over San Francisco. Despite the loss, Green Bay is a huge favorite at 1.21 to 4.26, which is a line of minus 9.5, and, and the over-under is 41.5. The score predictor looks like they're expecting a high-scoring game of 35 to 30 in favor of the Bears, 67.2% level of confidence. Both teams are under in their first week. If we look at the power ranking indicator, you will see that Chicago has jumped from plus 5 up to plus 27, and the Packers dipped from plus 19, and with their loss are down to plus 4. Let's take a look at the movement in the line if there is any. And it looks like there was. They opened at 1.21. This is the Packers line. And it went to 1.23. But now it's back up to where it started at 1.21. In the end, I have a very hard time seeing the Packers falling at home. Lambeau Field is very tough to play for visitors. I don't think the Packers will drop two games in the division after only two weeks. Let's go with the Packers to win. Um, Bears could probably cover this one. But the Packers will win. And this game will go over the line. So there you have, there's a couple other games on tap. Those are the last ones we're going to look at for today. So happy betting, and we will see you next time.